Welcome, welcome, welcome. And to our non-English speaking viewers, welcome as well. I welcome you twice as hard. What we are about to virtually impatiently stand in is the county's first race-themed restaurant. Ever since a little kid, I've been fascinated with race. It's just something that is such a big part of our community and something that I think we shouldn't overlook. And you know, while some races are definitely better than others, we just have to realize that that's how it was always meant to be. Yep, dog racing, horse racing, cattle racing, it doesn't matter. That's what we're celebrating here at On Your Mark Get Set Munch. Please take off your shoes. Here at On Your Market Set Munch, we want our customers to come in with depression encrusted shoes and leave with non lame ones. Take them away, boys! They'll be back when you're done with your meal. I feel like some squats are yearning to be popped, so I'm gonna sit down here and enjoy a good old fashioned On Your Market Set Munch meal. Our meals are so good that we have seven court hearings because calling our food good is misleading because they're all great. If you wanna have some condiments for your meal, we have some condiments right over here. You know, everything you might possibly need to put on your meal with your hands and or mouths. And I'm just gonna sit over here and I'm gonna use the tried and true cop and munch tactic. That's N with an N. Wow, now that's what I call consumption. After one is done with the whole concept of eating, they can make their way out to the terrifying depths of the real world. But first, they need to pay. After all, we're not a fucking charity. To highlight our employees' excellent high school education, all cashiers have is a pen, a piece of paper, and a sharp mind to give back correct change. Do you know what the square root of 1087 is? Well, if it is my own employee, Chef Kohler. Hey, Chef Kohler, what are we cooking up here? Just cooking up some fresh dough. Wanna taste the nipple? Wow, you've really outdone yourself on this one, Chef Kohler. It tastes just like dough. Customer service. It's definitely a word with some syllables. Whoa there! You almost dropped your cereal there, partner. Here at On Your Market Set Munch, we like to take pride in and advantage of our loyal customers. So we decided to initiate a brand new rewards program for all of them. And with our racing theme, what better name to call it than the race card. With the race card, you can go up to anybody who looks slightly employed here at the restaurant and they'll pull the race card from you and give you some free points. These points can be exchanged for certain fun prizes like accomplishment or integrity. Our scamps of customers usually like to get into fights about who has the most points on the race cards. We like to call them race wars. We are beyond resourceful here at On Your Market Set Munch. We use all of our resources to their maximum potential until they're completely used up. For example, in that room over there, we have 40 pounds of banana peels, and we're also still using a calendar from 2005. Also, we repurposed this closet as a waiting room for all of our customers. How are we doing in there? I am so proud of how far this company has come. Many entrepreneurs saved the first dollar they ever made, possibly framing it and putting it on the wall. Me, however, I feel that all dollars matter just as hard, so I saved every single dollar I ever made here and put it up on the wall. <laughs> Bringing the youngins in so you can gaze at them playing at their phone while you're trying to attempt real life conversation with them? Well, you're gonna need a kid's menu for that, and what a kid's menu On Your Market Set Munch has. As you can see, we have On Your Market Set Munch's version of the food pyramid, the Munchin Triangle, and we also have a fun activity on the side, that being an eye examination chart. It's a little pixelated, but that adds a lot of fun challenge to it. And you're gonna also realize that that eye examination chart is a bit white. So, we supply all kids with a bunch of lead-based paint because crayons are pretty toxic, and we're also not allowed to bring crayons to the kids after 2012's little incident. We take customer interaction very seriously here. How's it going? Do you smell that? That's what I call customer satisfaction. Also, a lot of smoke. Let's check back with Chef Kohler. Chef Kohler, what's going on? I thought you were just kneading dough. I was, and it just got out of hand. You always told me, Chef Kohler, there's no such thing as too much dough. Well, Chef Kohler, there is such thing. There is. Chef Kohler, these people are hungry. They need food now. You need to get back to the dough. You want food? The entire kitchen's on fire. Who the f cares? I the f cares. Just get a mop or something and clean all this up. We need food pronto. All right, sorry about that, guys. I can just get a little hectic maintaining a restaurant. Oh, hey, 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 back. At this moment, I'd like to invite you to one of our county famous brainstorm sessions, which we hold with complete dominance and confidence. We're squealing out there, guys. The kitchen's on fire. It's still on fire to this very day. And our waiting room customers are getting antsy, so I propose we drill a few air holes into the waiting room itself. Uh, that's gonna cost a little bit of money, so here's the current financial situation. This is the amount of money we spent on decorations, the decorations being the money we hang up on the walls. Ugh, does it have to be a pie graph? Yeah, I'm more of a stem and leaf guy myself. 
Yeah, I'm like way into line graphs. This moment would be a whole lot more memorable if I was looking at a histogram right about now. All right, so it's settled. We keep the decorations and we also try to serve our customers. So no air holes in the waiting room? Our customers already have three air holes built into them. They're a little thing I like to call mouth and nostrils. How can we serve our customers if Chef Kohler's dough is all black? Never thought it would come to this, but there's a moment when my career matters more than my collection. No! What are you thinking? Those things are sealed, never opened, mint condition. Chef Kohler, give me the crisis hammer. I like to collect banquet meals as nice pieces of photographic art and also as a metaphor for not living up to expectations. But you know the saying, when the going gets rough, serve your customers banquet meals. It totally slipped my mind the main ingredient in banquet meals was cancer.